You know what else is not good? What? I may or may have not lost the checkbook. That's definitely not good. I know. It was in my outside bag, but I haven't emptied my bag all the way. Okay, well, we need to do that soon I so I can cancel all the checks. I will. Because when you talk to me on the phone. When was this? Yesterday. What's up with these new digs, though? Oh, which ones? The new digs. This whole office that you have now. <laughs> we have many offices. We got three. God. Who's got enterprises? Who's <laughs> got the hole in the This wall. is also the, uh, this is where the, uh, this news network could be filmed. Now put canning the high on the streets. <laughs> got me sweating over here. I knew I put it in a pocket, but you I just have put so it, many pockets in that thing. I put it in a different pocket. I was like, I, I watched Catch Me If You Can last night. Oh yeah. And I'm like, this motherfucker, <laughs> my shit's gonna be drained. It's gonna take us fucking four weeks to get this shit mm. back. On my old station. My old station. Over here. Do you want to do a Denver pop-up? Tomorrow. Seriously? <laughs> do you eat already? No, sorry. Trying to get a salad or what? Yeah. So there's been some changes at the tattoo shop. We uh, got the place next door. We used to have these uh, investors that were next door. So now we have taken over this side as well. Right now we're using it for Boost God stuff, but uh, eventually this will be used for the tattoo shop. So we'll expand the tattoo shop around here. Uh, piercing will be here. Piercing right now is downstairs in the other building. We're below the print shop. That is gonna turn into a store for something else. And uh, yeah, this will be the new tattoo shop as well as the building that we already have. So as you can tell, we're gonna tear that wall down and get some expanding going on. So I got a new station. We hired a new guy. Lots of stuff going on here. We'll go check in on the print shop and see what they're doing. See what I got in here though. All my stuff's in here. But I got some pack, I got some boxes to open. One of which is a munch pack. So kind of excited for the munch pack. I don't know what this stuff is. It's just been sitting there. I don't know about munch pack? What is that? Came the other day. Munch pack is like a company that you can sign up for and they'll send you like a, a random surprise box of snacks. Oh, U.S. snacks? Yeah. That's pretty dope. Trying to see what's good? Yeah, what's in there? Is it overseas snacks or U.S. snacks? I don't know. That's a good question. I know they have different ones. What, well, would you prefer it to be overseas? I think it'd be dope if it was overseas. Fucking racist, dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're racist. You're I'm racist. racist. Munch pack. I don't know if I was supposed to do something for this. If I was supposed to say something in particular. Thanks, Munch Pack. Shout out, man. Made just for you by Nick. My man Nick hooked this up for me. Nick. These look like domestic snacks to me, friend. We got black truffle potato chips. Should we, well, should we try these things? Yeah. Right. Which one, we'll see what we you want to try. All right. We got Lie Cross Cheddar Onion Piper's Crisp Co. We got sour neon gummies. There's a crayon holding one of them for some fucking sour. reason. Why is there Crayola? Is that the colors? I think so. Man, that's some cross marketing right there. What else we got? Uh, sour pickle balls? Fam, one of you are eating one of these for sure. Chew sours, I know what those are. Chew it's fruit salad flavor. Fruit Sounds salad. fucking crazy. Awake energy granola, I'm eating that. Waffles? Toffee waffles. Uh-oh. Toffee waffle. Sounds like a dance by Soldier Boy. The toffee, the toffee waffle. waffle. Yeah, drink. The Jumex peach nectar. Had that shit. Cookies and Those cream biscuit sticks. Oh, oh shit. And some more toffee. All right, who's going to pickleball? Pickleball it up. Oh my god. Here, open that. I got a film. Pickleball. They look crazy. Hold it. Let me see one of them. Oh. oh, here, here again. I don't want to touch this. You don't want to touch this pickleball? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it looks look fucking crazy. Shit, it looks like in outer space. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes, like it tastes like chalk. No, chalk? It doesn't taste like pickles? It's just sour as fuck. It's just chalk. <laughs> <laughs> this is nasty.
<laughs> Alright, let's get it right off. Okay. <laughs> you, you spit it out? Yeah, fuck that. That's disgusting. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> That's so gross. That does not look okay. <laughs> That's deliciously seasoned with a little kick. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Damn, I need Sager to stop talking. Alright, let's go get sad. He's over here, right? Oh, I don't know. I think they might have left. No. Where'd they go? Oh, yeah. You like pickles, right? This is. You like pickles, right? Yeah. All right. Well, this is called a sour pickle ball. And you, my friend. <laughs> sour pickle ball? Yeah. What Just grab this? one of those. Got it from a munch pack. It's not edible. It's, it's not going to at least make it's me not, high. There's no weed in it. No, sir. Sour pickle ball. Mm, tastes like a fucking pickle. It does. <laughs> it does. <taste> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your whole mouth is green. <laughs> it tastes like a pickle, but it's like sand. It's <laughs> just nasty. Oh, Shit is fucking terrible. Yeah. Oh, Man. I yeah. like, you eat half of one. <laughs> I eat half of one. <laughs> so I opened the munch pack and we got sour pickle balls. Sour pickle balls. You're... All right, Hyman, let's eat these Oreo sticks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what's good with the Oreo sticks. These are all broken and shit, too. Yeah, <laughs> these are pretty good. These are nice and safe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know what this is. Oh yeah, it's the silver ones. You see these? You see these in person yet, Jaime? No, I have not. this so I open this off camera <laughs> you're not ready for this so this nice. came this, space balls in this came in and it is a fucking potato with my face on it <laughs> that's on the back that's and so in the dope. back says potato Daruma Teddy appreciate all the laughs keep up the great work see you in Dallas much love grateful dead stock that's face. lit that's, dope. that's pretty lit that's a hard oh, you haven't seen these Oh yeah, I saw those yesterday. Not in person, you didn't? No, of course not. Come on, fam. <laughs> of course. It's not online. Oh yeah. Fire. Mm. Uh. Dude, the priming on this shoe is crazy. Creamy white. A bottle of Henny. Get the, Get the bottle of Henny out. <laughs> no, those are coming. Did you see how happy everyone spicy. was that you returned into the vlog last night? I did. Yeah, I mean, did you, you see this? You know, like, I did talk to her and she said, <laughs> she said, law and order, where like, the lawyer doesn't know. This is the Boozinets? You're in the Boozinets right now? Dang. I thought they were the White Mountaineer and Sears soccer earlier. I'm boosting it to now. Dang. You skater? Yeah, I skate, dog. Skate? I skate. Dang. Are you willing to try a sour pickle ball? The sour what? Pickle ball. How fucking sour is it? I haven't it? had it. Everyone else said they were gross. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Did you hear me? It's to the actual floor. Oh, you gotta get one of these. <laughs> You're the first one that's like, oh, not spit fuck, it out. dude. It really grabs a hold of your fucking gland. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been filming that one. I'm filming it right now. The wood. Oh. <laughs> you see where the wood's at? Yeah. Say, so are you going? Four for four. <laughs> Think tank south. Look at them. Not that bad. Not that bad. I've had better, not okay. worse shower heads. Okay, You've had, you yeah. had better balls. Mm. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> All 
I gotta be honest, these came in a munch pack. They're fire. They're way fire. Damn! It looks completely different in here. Kicking the kids out. They're, they're fucking good. What is it? It's a grapefruit sour. I made them, I made Sager, both Sagers, and uh, who else? Oh yeah, you had to try it. So did, uh, so did fucking Derek. Look at this, 14 karat gold. 14K. One up top there, too. Nice. Make sure it's plugged in. All right, back in Denver. Well, Littleton. So, um, a lot of changes going on at the shop, a lot of expanding. Um, I'm back for a little bit. Looks like it'll be a couple of days at least uh, before I try to head to the East Coast. I'll announce future plans as they come. Uh, today, we got a lot of shoes in the mail. A lot of shoes to talk about. So let's just get, first let me get this off. Cause it's hot in here. Okay. So a lot of shoes came in the mail. Let's see where to start. First, we'll go with the NMD CS1 PK. This is the gum bottom NMD. This is what the shoe looks like. The light in here is a little yellow. We don't, I don't have all the light that I used to have in my apartment. We'll get back to that soon. This apartment is very similar because this is Rick's apartment. Mm -hmm. The shoe. All black prominent upper on the city sock. We reviewed quite a few city socks. For those of you who have never seen one, all prominent upper on this. The uh, pattern in this one kind of zigzags back and forth in direction. It's sort of a gray, sort of a gray base with black stitched in. These thicker black prominent uh, strips end up making quite a nice pattern when you look at it from kind of far away. I don't know how good the light is in here, but regular NMD sole except for it's the color of gum. Well, not like bubble gum, it's just gum, uh, rubber gum. Boost, Adidas branding on the front brick, and uh, yeah. For me, CS1 still pretty true to size. You can half size down, I've said before. Depends on how snug you like it to fit. CS1 though, for the regular ones, half size down is okay. I wouldn't suggest it. Too much for the CS2, personally. Some people disagree with me, but everybody's foot's a little different. Uh, one of the big questions I get about this shoe is the patch on the inside. Why it says L, or it has BA7209, which is the style code of the shoe, right there. And then this one has L12, 13, 14, 15, and that is the size run. This is the category of the size. It's a size 13, so they categorized it from 12 to 15. So that's the city sock for you. is the 350, 350 V2, triple white, easy boost. I'm sure this has been reviewed over and over and over again on the internet by now. Uh, this is the colorway. They're gonna look very yellow in this light. Uh, is the shoe. So yeah, all triple white, prominent upper, 
the Supply 350 is no longer present. It kind of is present. I mean, you can kind of see, you can kind of see it a little bit. It's a very clean shoe. There's not much to say about the shoe. Like the resell on it is way down. A lot of people don't like the shoe, don't like white shoes in general because they fuck them up. Like I get it. Um, I personally like the V2 silhouette. I like the comfort of it. So an all white, triple white shoe just makes sense to me. Just like the triple white Ultra Boost. It, it just makes sense. It's just another white shoe. Like I wouldn't expect much more out of it. The Yeezys, my review on the Yeezys is the same as all my other reviews. Really not really noticed much of a difference. It felt a little tight when I put it on. Once I wore it for a few minutes, it felt just like my zebras. They do stretch out for people who don't know how to size. I went with a size 13, so true to size for me. Don't think I'd want to wear a 12 and a half. I could, probably could wear a 14 and have it be baggy, but for me, the 13 is fine. Um, but yeah, so that's the triple white Yeezy. Not much of a review on this because honestly, like, it's, it's another Yeezy. So I don't, you know, I like Yeezys. I love them. I love all the new colorways coming. I'm super glad to get white ones of these. I've thought about, I got a strange phone call the other day. Well, if, if my phone call comes through and I get these pairs in the mail, then I'll paint on them. But We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with the mail. I'm not gonna paint on this pair. This is my pair to wear, but I might paint a dragon on one pair, possibly. I don't know. I'm just kind of toying with the idea. That's the triple white Easy 350 V2. I do not have a crazy high beast review, but all I can really tell you is resale is not that high. Really around 400 bucks, honestly. 420, 430, 450 is what I've been seeing. Not bad. the Wings and Horn NMD R2. And this shoe is interesting to me because when I first saw the leaks of the shoe, I was like, this thing looks crazy. I didn't think that it really looked that good because I couldn't tell the material. It didn't look like prominent to me. It looked like some weird material. And we hadn't really seen R2s yet. But honestly, this shoe is really awesome. Like I really like the cleanliness of it. It kind of reminds me of like a, a you know, raining champ vibe. I know Wings and Horns does, you know, I know they make nice stuff as well. Nice, clean and simple stuff. So, but the shoe itself is really sick. The colorway is this nice gray colorway. Uh, nice kind of like cool gray. That's the shoe. It comes with an extra set of rope laces, black and or gray and white rope laces. Um, the shoe is super interesting. So R2 base, which basically your R2 part is the boost. Your boost has more of a slope on it and you have your brick on the inside and then a removed brick on the outside. Uh, the PK in this, the pattern changes quite a bit. So it goes from this open PK, kind of like how you're used to on an ultra boost into this tightly woven prime knit that uh, makes more of like a strip pattern and then it just kind of goes in and out of that it flip-flops in the pattern of the shoe all throughout the upper sort of mummy stitched i don't i don't know these technical terms uh kind of like luxe looking stitching that comes across the toe box um, across the bottom of the lacing system and then there's sort of an atr stripping over top of that it also repeats around the heel so it's got this kind of like it's got this handcrafted look and feel to it it's super cool. Like I didn't think that I was gonna love this shoe the way that I do, but I really like it. I really, really like it. Uh, the one thing people complain about the most in this model is the brick on the inside hurting your foot. So what I'll say about this shoe is that this PK is a lot looser. The whole shoe feels a lot looser. Um, I don't even know. You know, when I put on my R2s, I noticed the brick when I, before I start walking around. After a half an hour, I don't notice the brick anymore because it kind of smooshes out. But with this shoe, I didn't even notice it at all because this does have a much baggier fit to it. But I'd still suggest going true to size because it's really, really, I wouldn't want to wear it any tighter. It feels good. It feels good to be loose. You know what I'm saying? Back heel tab also has sort of this stitched together, uh, 
stitched together leather piece that runs up the back of the heel. Leather on the heel tab. So you don't have your regular kind of NMD um, heel tab on this at all. It's been removed. The tongue on this is movable, which is different. There's not a lot of, in, there's some new R2s that are like that, like the white and the black pair with the red bottoms. Um, it's all PK. And then you have a trefoil with a circle patch around it for the tongue. It's the same on both shoes. And then NMD bottoms, boost, no insole. The insole's fixed or it's printed on, so wing and horn branding on the inside. But yeah, this shoe is super sick. The R2 wing and horns NMD. This is a sleeper. I think a lot of people pass on this, but this is a, this is a clean shoe. Like very, very clean, very, very comfortable for NMDs. I was one of those people who didn't really, it didn't impress me by the photos. The leather one that came out, I'm still not down with. I don't think I could wear that. This shoe right here is a, is a great, this is a good one. So NMDR two wing and horns. biggest surprise of the day to me today was full of surprises but the best shoe I think I got in the mail today um, and really yeah just a surprise to me day one ADO or auto I don't know if you're what you're supposed to say ultra boost ZG these are so sick so the box top of the box like that print on it but um, these are actually still on my feet because they're sick as fuck. Yeah. I really, really like this one. I, really, I know I say that they're all super fire. Well, I don't say they're all super fire, but I do like these. This shoe's super sick, like seriously, for real this time. Completely different look. The other uh, Audi Zero that came out, I wasn't really a fan of the olive green one. I never saw them in my size either, but it wasn't like one that was tripping, tripping over. I wanted to get them, but I didn't get, I didn't get them. This one though, this one came in a 13. And this one is sick. So you have an all PK upper, uh, and this PK upper is super nice. It's way, way flexible. It's not that it's stretchy, it's just got more of a rag feel to it. Um, it's really, really comfortable, this upper. It's, it's crazy how comfortable this is. So you have a black base with khaki kind of peppered into it. On the outside of the toe box, a khaki plate or a khaki panel with black peppered into that. Highly contrasting white stripes on the toe box, which I think kind of like make the shoe. I love the way that looks. It looks so good to me. Uh, rope laces that kind of go back and forth between black. Is it black? Yeah, black and khaki in the laces. Lacing system that's kind of independent and is sort of stitched across this strap. Which the strap just, I guess this just is to hold your foot in place. You don't really feel the strap. It's not tight across your foot. It obviously adds some support to the shoe so you're not slipping around in it but it's not uncomfortable in any way. It's a very, very comfortable shoe. This feels like, honestly, this feels kind of like a more comfortable V1 Yeezy. Like that's what it feels like. The upper on it feels like what I wish a Yeezy kind of felt like. No offense, Kanye. Suede tab on the tongue, suede tab on the back heel. There's a, a little button, I'm gonna call it a button, on the back that has, uh, what does it say? It says running 004, and then it says SS17 EQ. EQ1030. Um, torsion system on the bottom, which also has the khaki hit on it. Continental sole, like Ultra Boost. And um, yeah, just super sick. The inside back heel is all suede as well, which is really nice. Khaki wave shape heel cage. Uh, the fit on it itself is just like kind of baggy and loose, but not in this like, not in a weird way. Like it just feels comfortable. Like the, the true to size for me is like perfect, like absolutely perfect. This shoe is one that I don't think anyone should sleep on. Some people don't like the colorway, that's fine. But this shoe is hella comfortable. Like 
Crazy, crazy, crazy comfortable this one. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm definitely impressed by this one. So the insole has uh, writing on it as well. But yeah, for me, true to size still. No branding on here that says Boost or anything like that. So that's a little different. Boost, of course, the Boost. But yeah, super sick, man. This one, definitely a must cop. Definitely. Trust me. we're gonna look at is another Ultra Boost 3.0. I personally am very ready for 4.0. I like 3.0 just fine, but all of the new stuff I keep seeing for 4.0 has me really excited. This is another 3.0. We've, we've done a lot of 3.0s over the past few months, but this is another one that I copped uh, from New York. I had my homie go pick this one up for me. Uh, this is the white and silver colorway. These were waiting on me when I got home. This one's pretty easy to review. It's a basically all white upper on a 3.0 model. You got your sort of glitchy camo some call it the stretch mark pattern on the toe box all prominent upper prominent tongue laces match the upper perfectly uh the white heel cup on this one is the big draw to me i like the white heel cup with the translucent cage i just like the way that looks all silver ultra boost branding and then of course as you can notice silver boost up in this bitch so we got silver and the boost which we've seen a couple of color models come with like a gray. Um, there's, is there anything else? Is it just the gray? I think it's just the gray. Is it just the silver metal one? Probably. But yeah, this is another one. Uh, this is a pretty much all white upper. Like I said, gray peppered in there in the digital camo stylings. And then um, this is kind of dirty, but a white continental sole as well on the bottom. Ooh, black torsion system and yeah so again 3.0 i'm still going true to size a lot of people half size down for me i can still wear a 13 and it's comfortable but yeah these are the ultra boost 3.0 white and silvers um, i don't really know about this release this one happened like pretty quick i don't know if they sold out real quick they're still available anywhere when i was in san francisco they had them one day in store and then they didn't have them the next so i'm not really sure but that is the ultra boost 3.0 white and silver